What's up you guys? I am filming on my iPhone camera because that's what I obviously have with me at work right now. I didn't really know what I was going to film, if I was going to film this or not, but I think that it's a good idea just of what I look like. This is post night shift. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to show you guys my routine, what I'm going to do. So typically I get out of work by 7.30. That's normally the goal. Obviously, go back to work and do it all over again. So this is kind of what my life looks like when I am working. It's not very exciting, but it's something to see and something different. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like my content. And yeah, let's have a good sleep. I'm going to bed. I am basically home. I am sitting outside of my garage because I just thought I would talk to you guys really quick. I just wanted to mention a couple things. So I get questions on nights all the time. I are genuinely curious and I love it. I, I was too. There wasn't like tons of resources out there about night shift. And I think that it's something that people think is super scary. I personally did. I didn't like it when I was in nursing school and as a student, I just kind of felt like I was super tired and like missing out on things, but at the same time, so many pros to night shift. You are able to have your whole day, and if you are someone who doesn't need like loads and loads and hours of loads and loads of hours of sleep, it's so nice to be able to go home and have your day. Like probably on like your last night or whatever. But I, sorry, my car. I was gonna talk about eating wise because I always get asked about eating, and I'm gonna go inside right now and make my oats overnight for tonight. It just kind of depends. I kind of rotate out my food. It's normally a lot of snacky things. So like. The oats I'm gonna bring, that's awesome because it's super easy for me to grab and just drink really fast. It's super easy for me to just have like really, really quick in the break room along with like my verb bars, cheese stick, turkey sticks, pretzels. Like I like to have snacky things to keep me going throughout the night. So let me let me just go show you guys this really quick. We'll, we'll do this first. Basically all I do when I make this is it comes in these packs. They are super high in protein, low in sugar, gluten-free. They have tons and tons of different flavors and I love them so much. So these are one of the options that I will make with my lunches. Just to switch it up a little bit, it goes in right in here. It's little, you can drink it. I like to drink it cold. I get asked that a lot and that's what I typically do. So I'm gonna show you guys really fast. Okay, so I'm just going to use this almond milk here and we're going to fill it up to the eight, eight ounces line. Fill it to the fill line here. Okay, and then all you do is just put it in there I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. We'll see, but Sam and I both really like these. They're just super, super easy, convenient to just throw in the fridge and you have oats because if you're an oats person, this is convenience at its finest. So that's what it looks like. Doesn't look bomb. So good. So I will just throw this in the fridge and this will be ready for me when I wake up. I will eat this when I wake up. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. Sometimes I will eat it at work and make it before or I, this is like technically my breakfast. So this breakfast on the go for normal people when I work night shift, I'll either make it right now and eat it when I wake up from sleeping or I will make it uh, right before night shift and eat it in the morning um, as my morning snack. So. That's that. So if you guys want to save 10%, I do have a link in the description box. You guys can click down below and get your own. Like I said, they have tons of different flavors. I'll show you guys. We have so many in here. We love them. We stay stocked. Chai latte. Ones. Um, the dream. That one's like a blueberry one down there. So good. So good. So that is that. Just throw this in the fridge here. Right there. And then the grapes too. So overall, convenience is the number one reason I love oats overnight. So that is that. They do have vegan options available. They're dairy-free. Lots of different options for everybody. So, so good. And the cutest packaging ever. So, all right. So you can see my tired eyes, my tired face. I'm going to go shower and go to bed. <laughs> So this is not exactly ideal, but it is 13.58, which is 1.58. So typically I try to wake up 
at least after one i wanted to be like two or three but it's the first night and kind of sucked there for a little bit because i woke up early so here we are i'm gonna make a cup of coffee and watch some gilmore girls and i'm gonna show you guys upstairs what i use to actually help me sleep because i think that that might be helpful to actually like show you guys the products i woke up looking like a flipping zombie when i actually like woke up so i needed a second to get myself together good afternoon <laughs> This mug is from Home Goods, by the way. I have a haul video coming where I talk about it. We're gonna do that one. Okay, I'm not gonna do the cookie. I'm gonna actually eat my oats right now because it's kind of like breakfast for me. So literally, all you're gonna do is pull it out like that, give it a shake, pop it. This one is chocolate chips nut. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you can get 10% off in my description box if you would like to try that. I'm gonna grab my coffee, go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I was gonna watch Gilmore Girls down here, but I just decided that I would like to watch it in my bed, so that's what we're gonna do. By the way, if anybody has any ideas for going up steps, like what to put on the wall, your suggestions are appreciated here. I'm trying to get like a photo session for Sam and I to do where we would have like cool pictures. We got the Netflix. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Gee, dang it. If you guys have Roku, this is like my favorite thing ever. It connects to the bottom of your TV. I love it so much. Here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so a couple things that I wanted to share in terms of what I specifically use for nights. This one is pretty simple and kind of for eyelashes too. This is the sleep mask that I have been trying. I will link it. I got it off of Amazon. This just goes over your face and kind of if you have eyelashes and if you're just a person like me who doesn't like my eyeballs to be completely suctioned to my face, this has little bulbs that your eyes fit into and my eyelashes don't touch with it. So that's why I really, really like that. And then it elastic straps on the back. So you can adjust it if you guys can see that right there. So the specific melatonin that I use is this one. These just dissolve. I also got this off Amazon. This is only five milligrams. Not a whole lot. Not gonna do anything crazy, but this helps me sleep. That's that. And then the earplug earplugs that I use are the Max Soft. I'm gonna fall. Are the Max Soft. You basically roll these at the top and you stick them in your ears. They're great, they work great. I really like them. So these are two staples, like right when I got home last night, I was like, yo, where are they at? Because I need to be able to sleep today. Um, other things I'll do, candles, essential oils, a sound machine, and we just actually use Alexa back there. You can't see her. We just use Alexa. Oh, she's lighting up. We just usually use her for a sound machine. But yeah, those are a few things that are like specific. Other than that. I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls, hang out for a little bit, try and enjoy. This is my me time, and then we'll get ready for work and do it again. And it's Sunday, which means, you see it, football's on. So, try to be real life in some way. When you're working nights, obviously, you get the opportunity to see stuff like this versus at night when you would get home and you might be able to catch a late football game but like that's a benefit of nights having this four hour time slot essentially to see a football game go outside because it's obviously light out even though you still feel like a zombie yeah all right you guys so i'm going to show you what i'm going to have for a meal quick so i just have some this is jasmine rice that sam cooked last week so i'm just going to do some of that 
Then this is a kebab that we had last night, just left over. So I'm gonna do that as well. Heat all of that up and top it with some kind of sauce. But this is what I'm gonna have before going into work. And then I'll show you guys what I pack in my lunch. I think I have rice on my face, nice. Um, I'm also going to take my, the stuff I take every day. I'm gonna take my balance. I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'm gonna take my greens and I'm also gonna probably have another cup of coffee before I head into work and then after I eat I will get ready and we'll go there you have it work meal all right, so this is what I am packing in my lunch. For those who are asking, this lunch box is from Amazon. I will link it in the description box. I get questions on this all the time. But I am going to bring a Chobani Flip Autumn Harvest yogurt. These are great. I really, really like these around like 3 a.m. It's a good snack. I have just some Dots pretzels. These are my favorite. I bring these every single night. I bring grapes every single night. I bring a cheese stick. These are probably my core. I like to have snacky stuff because it's easier to just grab it quick and eat it instead of like sitting down for a meal because on nights it's easy to get pulled left and right just for small things like pain meds or a patient needs to be turned or needs to go to the bathroom or you need to do something, somebody's call light's on. So I just like to have little things that I can grab and eat really fast. These are turkey sticks. I've showed these a bunch of times too. I love these. I'm gonna bring a few of those. The grapes like I mentioned and then I always keep like a stock of bars in my bag slash lunchbox. So I don't know if I have a verb one in here. I don't, but I'm going to bring this built bar. These are super, super good. If you've never had these before, I really, really like these. It kind of tastes like a roll up. So, and then in here, this is just what the inside of it looks like. I have an ice pack, obviously, and then I do have some uh, water flavoring if I choose to put that in my drink. I always bring my hydro jug, which is currently... I don't know where it's at. I need to get it out of my car. But uh, if I'm drinking out of this from my hydro jug, you can put some of that in there or in your hydro jug directly. So, yeah, this is what I am bringing tonight. Super simple, not very exciting. I am a snacky eater. So, yeah. Hope that helps. Maybe give somebody some kind of insight. That's that. Okay, so right now I just had some leftover cold brew from my... Um, coffee over cardio cold brew I make from home so right now I just filled up my filter but that doesn't spill everywhere I'm using the espresso fit one and I'm just going to make some cold brew so that I have it tomorrow for work my last day of work tomorrow um, so I'll show that to you guys really quick so I just cleaned this close your lid pop it on screw it on just like that that and I'm just going to take my cold brew container and lightly dip it in because one time I put it in there and it literally overflowed that sucked so yeah that's how I make it and then in the morning I will just take out the filter and stir it and you have cold brew coffee so yeah okay so for this coffee this iced one I don't have very much in here I just took what was left I'm just gonna use a little bit of the pumpkin spice Show you some pretty coffee aesthetic. Love it. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do one sweet and low packet. I do have stevia too. I'm just not using it. I don't want to today. There you have it. I'm gonna take this to work. I will not, I'm not gonna bring my camera with me just cause I showed you guys like walking in and out. That's literally all I do is I pull into the parking lot, park my car, go into work and start my day. I'm not filming anything in the hospital. I just am not doing that. That's not, I'm not doing that. So I will go to work. I will eat my snacks throughout the night and I will talk to you guys in the morning. to the car.